everybody. Joel Pirate here. And, you know, I'm looking at this great looking uh, melon, pumpkin, pellant, pumpkin melon farm. Uh, ooh, just went off. And looking at this really great uh, obsidian farm. And, well, that is to be determined yet. But then I'm looking at this reed farm. And I have got to do something about this. So. I have played around on creative. Uh, I have come up with a design that I like. Um, it's actually based in part on two or three different um, designs. And so I think we'll get started building this. First thing I gotta do is tear this apart and ready the space. So I will do all that, gather my materials, and see you back here in just a few minutes. Alrighty, well one thing I did not take into account was that I didn't have everything. So I had to actually go and get some sand and I had to go get some packed ice. Well, packed ice, you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, that you might not have had, but you live in a desert and you've got double chest full of sand. Well, yeah, that's true, shucks. But I want some color in this place, so I went with the red sand. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. Um, I don't know, it just it's gonna give it a little bit of color, because uh, all this gray and br browns and things can get you know, a little, I don't know, gross after a while. So it's nice to have a little something something that, that makes up for it, makes it look nice. Um, and that's the way I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do, I put my project chest down here this time, cause why not? I can, it's my thing. And put my glowstone there. And let's see, I think I had it, a row of the stuff here as well. Because I want maximum lightage. Uh, for the uh, for the sand or for the reeds to grow and you can go away Boop, thank you and on top of that will be our pistons which I have there and boop, a boop, a boop, a boop. I don't have to shift to do this but it's easier for me so I'm gonna do it it's my story that's why I'm gonna do it okay now you get up there you come down here now if you will pay attention here Boop. Pumpkin farm went off. Uh, this is eight blocks long, so eight pieces of sand, eight pieces of packed ice. And when I put in my water, it's going to stop right there at that hopper. So when the pistons fire and knock off the reeds, uh, then boop, then we will have uh, not a hundred percent lossless, because you know, what do I care about that? You know, I, I'm not all in this for the for the. To make the biggest and the best and all that that's just not in my style so let me get you up there and that is the basics of it so now i gotta get started on the redstone and i hope i left myself enough room i believe i did but i think i'm gonna have to hog out the ceiling one more so let me do that and then we'll come right back all right well yeah i was right i needed to hog it out a little bit but i got it and one thing I did forget was I forgot the glass um, because I want to be able to watch this thing uh, do what it does. So what I've done is I framed it out with these stone slabs and then I will put glass in here. Okay. And then get my polished die right there because I like this stuff so much. I really like it. I like it a lot. And I'll have to move that doorway back. There we go. There we go. Because I do want to be able to access the mechanicals and that. So one there. And one there. Slabs there. Slabs there. And you know what? I think I might put glowstone here just for giggles. Do I have any more? Let's do. Or I'll probably come back and put in uh, redstone lamps. I think that will be the way to do it. So there is the front of our farm. So I'm going to get a few extra redstone pieces together because I forgot to grab uh, some comparators, or rather enough comparators, I only have the one. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come right back. Yeah, so I decided to go ahead and change this out for, um, for the redstone lamps just because I like the way they look better and they're going to give us really nice high-tech uh, kind of a finished feel if you will because uh, glowstone while glowstone works especially when you don't have any way to put redstone in and under it um, when you do you should by all means go with uh, uh, 
redstone lamps. So let's get to the building of this thing. Uh, I've got more comparators and I'm going to need my furnace, my torch. No, I don't need the torch as a matter of fact. I do, however, need a repeater. And I have blocks and I have redstone and we're good to go. So, back here and I will pretty this all up after we're done. Uh, but for now, let's get this sucker going. So, I'm going to need a way up and let's use ladders. Yep. Get up there. You're not what I wanted. Okay. And can I get it? Oh, almost. No. Nope. There. Yeah. Cheat. Got it. Okay. So, let me make a little bit more room here. Okay, so we've got our pistons here. And on this very last one, we want to place uh, a furnace. Oop, I don't have enough room. Um, see here let's do this oh that's better that works out much better okay and in this furnace we want to place 14 of any one thing and that is gonna tell our comparator that is going to go here let me see what do I want to put my redstone on let's use polished andesite because I don't want to use just any old block because if I go breaking into it later for some particular reason, see, now we're getting a signal. If I have to go breaking into it later for any particular reason, uh, then, you know, I'll know which blocks I can break and which ones I can't. So let me extend that out. One, two, three, what is it? Five, one, two, three, four, five total. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. here and you know what these should be right there I know I don't need one on the bottom get over it <laughs> and uh, yeah ha, ha, ha. yes made it okay we are gonna need more space there we go uh, room to work so we've got that and we want to put down our repeater and that is going to go into block. And then that is going to go into three more. And I don't need those ones on the bottom now, but there they are. So let's, get, let's retrieve those. It just gave us a place to work since we're in such tight quarters. On creative, it's much easier. Yeah, got that. Okay, and then we have to place a roof on our farm. And what are we going to use for roof? I think on creative I used cyan stained clay. So let's go grab some of that. And while I'm here, I'll show you. I finished the uh, second floor. So we've got the light gray uh, stained glass. We've got the white and we've got the red. And that was a lot of red. I did not realize how much it was going to take, uh, which is why I've got rosebush going on over there. Because I knew I was going to need that. And then on the, the bottom floor, I don't know, why don't you guys give me a three-color combo you think I should use? I kind of was thinking of blue, but I don't know what to go with it. Um, let me know down below what you think I should use, because I'd be really interested uh, to have your guys' input on this. Okay, so let's grab a stack of that. And that should work. Ooh, I better eat. Alright, so we got that. And we have to build up the back and sides of the farm. And let's do it like this. Well, you know, light glitches. Did not mean to put that into subtraction mode. I will have to go back and fix that. So we get this. And bingo. Okay. Okay, and one thing we don't want is we don't want our uh, stuff getting thrown everywhere. So what we're going to do is put these iron bars here, and that'll keep everything fairly contained to this particular spot. I'll fill this in with glass uh, when I'm done because, like I said, I don't want items getting shot over here 
uh, out of the way. So, okay, that is that, and I better put one more row. There we go. Here. For safety's sake. Okay, and you can come with me. Bingo. Look. Look. Turn you back off subtraction mode. And I did not give myself room to work here. So let's... Lick. I know I'm going to have to put redstone on top of these. Boy, I wish the faithful people would get their act in gear. And you know what? I screwed up already. Uh-huh. Yes, I sure did. I forgot a very key piece of stuff. Polished, polished, polished. Am I out of polish? No, it's right there in front of my face. So you can come out one more. Okay. Because I screwed this part up. And that part up. Oh, chase that down. Because you are supposed to be Moon Piston. And do I have a piece of sand? No, I don't. I'll have to grab a piece of sand as well. Okay, so now. This one can be Ooh, noisy cars, and you can go away. There we go. And you can be. There we go. Get off the block. I'm trying to work with. Get that. Oop. While I'm here, I might as well grab the sand. And you can just be regular old sand. I don't no sense wasting the good stuff on this piece. It'll never be seen again once this episode's over with. Unless I have to come back here and do some maintenance. Now there is a, currently uh, a bug. Uh, and we have experienced it on this server where... Um, oh, I'm going to have to make more room, aren't I? Oh, I hope this doesn't interfere with the lava thingy upstairs. Ooh, really close. Okay. Um, we're in... Those of you who are in the redstone know know about what I'm about ready to do here, uh, and that is uh, all fine and dandy. But on this server, it tends to sometimes not work, so I may have to come back and change that for a sticky piston, and that is the fix we have found. So get that there, that there. Get you broke. Now I'm going to have to break this. Yeah, that's what I want circuit there okay and do I have just enough I have just enough to do this nope I need one more okay yeah I need one more okay okay there's that and I'll place the sand ah you see that fired okay now what we basically accomplished here is I've made a pulse lengthener uh, because that uh, because as the farm stands do I have oh there's redstone over here I remember that uh, as the farm stands now uh, it fires the pistons bang but sometimes the sugar cane bounces back onto the plant that it grew from and it doesn't actually um, That should be all fired and fine and dandy once I put the sand back on. And we should be good. So now if we update a block here. I said if we update a block here. Give me something to update a block with. There it is. Okay. We have made bud switch. Okay. And all that is is a pulse lengthener because when... Like I said, when this fires, it doesn't always, um, sometimes the busted plant will land back there, and if you leave those pistons extended just a minute longer, then it'll push them, and then that way it'll go. So anytime one of these uh, grows, like that, it'll fire, and it'll go into the chest. Look, we got four of them already. So let me clean out my junk chest here put you in here and we'll sit here and we'll watch it go for a second maybe eat a piece of chicken no 
I am gonna have to come back and get the glass back in the back there and or I might do something different there I might continue that cyan stained clay do I have enough of it I sure do let's do that and see if that isn't uh, an attractive look for it it's gonna be a little dark but see there it goes again oh yeah and I've got torches so no mobs are spawning should I get a couple more yes I do and we'll fix that for light updates. Look at her go, man. She's fast, I'm telling you. Um, there we go. Just to keep the light updates from uh, lagging us out too much. Now with all these pistons firing, it will be a little laggy um, when, the, when the thing does fire. But where are we at? We're up to six already. So there we go. Screenshot that sucker. I'm telling you what, kids, we're on a roll. That's uh, what, one, two and a half, well, two automatic farms and one kind of semi-automatic farm anyway, uh, in just a couple days, so awesome. Oh, we should check uh, melons just to see how we're doing here. 62, not bad considering um, I actually just filmed this, ooh, actually just filmed this a few days uh, or a few hours after we filmed the, the last one there, so awesome. We got ourselves a melon farm. <laughs> Cool. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for me today. I'm old Joe the Pirate. Stay tuned uh, for tomorrow. We have Attack of the Bee Team where we'll get back to work on our the pink casino. <laughs> and <laughs> look at it go. Look at it go. That's so awesome. Seven. Nice. All right. That's it, kids. Uh, we have got to work out storage room, though. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it here or I may even put it down on bottom level there's an ender girl hey ender girl there we go i might even put it down here um who knows this might be a good place to put it because i might be able to funnel the items from the farms down into the storage plus the uh ooh, that's a plan that is a plan i'm glad you guys are i'm glad you guys can't uh, figure that out for me nice <laughs> ender girl all right well we will see you all next time y'all have a great day we'll see you tomorrow peace Ooh, Endermite. Little rat down there. Yep, there he is. See you, rat.